putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty. What's good, Ravens fam? So this video, I'd be a little quick one, but this is just a shout out to number twenty two. You can't barely see it. Number twenty two, Jimmy Smith. This dude, he just pretty much put it out there. If the Ravens wasn't going to sign me, I was going to retire. Much respect. Much respect. He even, I, they, like, I remember when he, uh, they were saying he tested the free market, but I was like, this dude don't want to go nowhere. You've been with us for so long. You're, you, you were like the rock of our cornerback for so many years. Like, I remember coming into the year, Jimmy's playing, I'm like, okay, everything's going smooth. Everything is going smooth. But once he got injured, it was just like, the year's over. Like, because if I remember right, I remember it was him and Webby. Cause Webby, I, I like me some Webby too, Webby. Was, a lot of people don't talk about Webby. Webby was that dude, like, he was that dude, but he got injured as well. But I remember when Jimmy went down, it was Webby by himself. Then I believe it was Sharice, right? <sighs> if y'all, you see, you see this, you see this? That's Sharice, right? Like, I remember the first time uh, I seen him on that field. He did good on that first game. But then after that, everything went down here. They was just picking on that man every single game. I was like, come on, defense, come on. Like, send the man some help. But, man, dark days. Anyway. But yes, Jimmy Smith, he is such a <sighs> helped out he helped out Marlin, helped out MP Juice Man. He really, just really just helping out every single corner we have. And the cool thing I've seen as well is I think it was Marlin. He tweeted out a picture or something like that. Of his new home or whatever, and Jimmy's over there playing on the piano. I'm like, that. It's cool. Like the brotherhood. Just keep it going, man. I don't I don't know for his other teams. Let me know. But I ain't ever seen nothing like this. These dudes was out there in Mexico all with each other, chilling. All the DBs chilling with each other. Brotherhood. Communication is very good. We didn't see that when you know 29 was there. He too busy spending time with his brother. But yeah, man, just that's just like really awesome. And it brings to mind just just something to think about. Cause he has one more year with us. Would he be interested in coming back, being like a coach or assistant coach or you know, something with the DBs kind of just to help him out? Cause Zachary Orr. Uh, McClain, I think well, McLean, I believe, they all came back and kind of assisted with different different things. That's just something to think about. I would love to see that. Like I believe Ed Reed should be our DB coach, but he, you know, I believe he's still with the Hurricanes. Uh, I believe so. But that's just something to think about. That would be really cool. Tell me what y'all think. I love the news. I love it. I love it. One more year, then obviously he might call the quits next year and training, training his replacement. You can say third, third cornerback, well, fourth cornerback replacement. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for the support. God bless.